Hello, I'm Diane Southard from Your DNA Guide, and here is Diane's tip. Today, we're going to be talking about goal setting. So goal setting, when it comes to genetic genealogy, means that we have to understand what DNA can and can't tell us about our family. For the kind of DNA that we're usually testing, called autosomal DNA, you get that from both of your parents, so half from your mom, half from your dad, which means you got 25% from each of your grandparents and so on and so on, which means that eventually your DNA trail kind of runs out. You don't have DNA from every single one of your ancestors. So that means DNA has a limit. It has a limit about what it can tell us. I like to think of the genetic genealogy sweet spot as that time when you're looking for your great grandparents, maybe your two times great, even your three times great grandparents. That's where DNA can really dig in and give you some good information. It can because you still have DNA from those ancestors and very importantly, we have genealogy records that can help back up our DNA claims. And that's equally important. When we start getting back into that four times or five times great grandparent, Whew, we have very little DNA that we share with these people, and there's hardly any genealogy records to back it up. So do yourself a favor, especially if you're new at DNA testing and genealogy, choose a research goal that's more recent. Go after that great-grandparent or even two times great-grandparent. That way you can learn the methodology, the step-by-step, -step, the terminology, before you try to turn your goals to something, let's say, a little bit deeper. So. If you need help, you can always reach out to me. That's what we do. We provide education to help you make the most of your research goals. So until next time, my name is Diane Southard, and that's my tip for you about how to use your DNA in setting attainable goals.